talking shit at the pilot Niggas be broke and be starving, but still talking shit like they violent They say that they honest, how money these niggas gon' say that they got it Get out with the kid, it's success and these niggas gon' blame it on Khaled They don't wanna see you win, they don't wanna see the race You don't wanna see a bitch caught up in the stars like she out of space Mention at the kind of kind of at the mention and I'm running out of space Tell your homie, keep on coming out his mouth, I'm sending something around his way Niggas barely getting low your money, better get some sick so your money Running around like you're Superman, don't be selfish, get your mom insurance money Woo! Cause I'm the one to put it on your money I'm the one to make it happen to you niggas What you fucking ran the door from yeah. Hop in the red then I bought it this Liddy again <laughs> Fly out of fifth in the traffic and Liddy again All of my partners is popping, you know that we Liddy again All of the fours on college, you know that we Liddy again They don't wanna see the squad They don't wanna see the red on YouTube, this your boy Lazik back on here, Lazarian Sports Talk. I just changed my YouTube name, channel name, Lazarian Sports Talk, NBA, NFL, 2K19. I'll be on 2K, I'll be live streaming. So if y'all wanna uh my PlayStation uh game tag, y'all just put y'all down uh in the comment section and stuff, and I'll put it down in the comment section myself. Uh like I say, um uh, big shout out to uh, Oliver DP. He give out giveaways every week. Uh, PSN, Xbox. Uh, big shout out to him. Um, shout out to Gamer Girl. Shout out to my best friend Princess Pounder. My boy Bean Thirty Two. Shout out to you. My guy uh, Junior the Truth. Kadarius. My guy Killer My Bruce. Bone AD. My guy Burn. Shout out to my guy Phil. My guy Phil Swift and my guy P. And my guy Pete, shout out to you brothers, thank y'all for subscribing. Shout out to City Man, uh, shout out to uh, Danny, shout out to uh, McGrady13, shout out to all you guys, uh, Emac90, shout out to uh, Swag, my boy Swag, shout out to you guys. Like I said, uh, keep commenting, keep liking, keep subscribing, and keep uh, viewing the video. Shout out to my cousin DeAndre Hudson. Y'all go subscribe to his channel. Shout out to him. Uh, like I say, uh, give a special shout out to my Rockets uh, source. Houston, his name Houston Rockets on Hardwood Aminu. Uh, he gives out great NBA Rockets content, news, uh, injuries, training camp. Uh, Rockets fans, go uh, support him on Hardwood Aminu and go follow him on his page. Uh, this video topic is about... Uh, the Jimmy Butler sweepstakes. It's four teams in Jimmy Butler sweepstakes. My diehard team, the Rockets, are one of those teams. It's the Rockets. It's the Clippers. It's the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's the Miami Heat. But so we very much got a chance of getting Jimmy Butler, which is <laughs> I don't want Jimmy Butler. I I don't kind of want Jimmy Butler like that because it's messing with our depth. It's messing with our bench. Especially Eric Gordon, they already the Rockets uh, already had tried to package a deal of Eric Gordon and PJ Tucker. If we somehow make that deal, I will be upset with that deal. I think it weakens our bench, especially having Eric Gordon up off the bench, and you only will have Carmelo Anthony, Gerald Green, uh, MCW. You will also have um, Brandon Knight, Marquise Chris coming off the bench. But I think we need Eric Gordon coming off that bench. Like I say, I think our bench is going to average about 18 points per game at least. We're going to be a top five bench in the NBA. Uh, P.J. Tucker is just a dog. He played great all, all year last year. His toughness, his corner shooting, I mean, his three-point shooting alone, I mean, improved, man. So I don't think there are more need to go that route. I think it's best for us to stay in pack and having Eric Gordon in the lineup now. Uh, which is Mike D'Antoni strongly considering him being in the lineup. Um, I just think it weakens our depth a little bit, and I think this team will have the best shot of beating the Golden State Warriors. So right now, I don't even want to. I don't even want Jimmy Butler on the Rockets right now. And then James Harden and Chris Paul are the ball handlers on this team. We don't need another person that needs the ball to be effective and stuff like that. We don't need. We don't need that. So, Jimmy Butler, um, I think the best fit for him right here, the Clippers got a good shot because he wants to be in L.A. He wants to play in a big market. Uh, but with, with Doc Rivers willing to give up, you willing to give up uh, your first two first-round picks that you gave up, that you got, that's 
the potential to be good players in this league who I like. Shea Gilgis Alexander, I like him. I made a video up on him. Shea Gilgis Alexander, Jerome Robinson. Hey, that's worth the shot. That's worth the shot. You give him up. Patrick Beverly, one year on his contract. How about him? Uh, Tobias Harris, you're going to re-sign him. Uh, so you got a lot of options on the table. Uh, Doc Rivers uh, for the Clippers. The Miami Heat, you got Gordon Grogic. And you got a couple picks. What do you want? So I, I like him. I'm here in Miami Heat all the way through. Uh, it looked like um, you got to see what the deal is going to be. But I'm hearing rumors that Miami is, is the good shot. How Cleveland. Cleveland Cavaliers. I mean, like what you can get for him. You're going to give up J.R. Smith. You're going to give up his contract. The, uh, the LeBron James killer in the finals. Like I say, it's a lot of options. Those are the four teams that's uh, in the Jimmy Butler sweepstakes. Uh, big shout out to my Houston Rockets source. Houston Rock on Hardwood Aminu. I got this information from him. Like I say, Houston Rockets fans, if you want any information about the training camp, what's going on, go to Hardwood Aminu app, NBA app, and go check out my guy, Houston Rockets. Uh, like I say, he's got the best Houston content. But like I say, I don't want Jimmy Butler coming to Houston. I don't want to give up Eric Gordon and mess over the chemistry. I think we can beat the Warriors what we have. We don't need another ball-dominant player. We don't need that. We don't need another ball-dominant player. We got Chris Paul. We got James Harden. Those are going to be our ball handlers right there. And Eric Gordon, those are going to be our ball handlers right there. Those are the ones that's going to make the decisions and get people open shots. We don't need uh, Jimmy Butler to mess up a chemistry on this team. That we something that we already have. And these guys having fun. These guys out there in training camp working hard. Like I say, we don't need to bring another player in that we got to try to build chemistry uh, with. Where we can build chemistry with the other guy that with the guys that we do have. Because we just got Marquise Chris and Brandon Knight. So we're going to build chemistry with them. We don't need to bring Jimmy Butler in. Someone that we have to try to build chemistry with and have to try to get along with. So I'd rather stay in pack if I'm Daryl Morey and I'm the Rockets GM. But those other guys, like I say, I think the Clippers have enough to uh, offer the, um, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I think Miami will have enough. So, uh... That's the end of the video. Please give me a comment, like, and subscribe on the video. Um, I'm a, I got an Instagram too. I will post my Instagram on the uh, down in description box in my podcast. So give me a comment, like, and subscribe, and share the video. And give me guys, let me know what you guys thoughts are. The Rockets, Miami Heat, Cleveland Cavaliers, or the LA Clippers. Those are the teams that's in Jimmy Butler sweet states right now. So give me a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. I'm out. Peace.